Hey guys, this is your girl Paula, the queen from Queens. Today, we're embarking on a journey into the heart of your financial health. We're doing a deep dive into the world of credit scores. Buckle up, because by the end of this video, you will be a credit score master. First things first, what makes up your credit score? It's not some random mysterious number. It's a calculated reflection of your financial habits. There are five key components that shape your credit score and each plays a crucial role. Don't take any part of these five for granted. First and foremost is your credit payment history. This is 35% of your credit score. This is the foundation of your credit score. It represents your track record of paying your bills on time. Do you pay your bills on time? Because late payments can significantly impact your score. So keeping up with the due dates are key. Paying late causes you to have dings on your credit score. Number two, credit utilization. Let's move on from 35% to how you're paying your debt to 30% of how much of your debt you're using. This measures the percentage of all available credit to you and how much you're using of that. Keeping the ratios low is ideal. The key number is 30%. It signals to your creditors that you're managing your credit well. So if you have $10,000 available to you, don't use more than $3,000. Next, let's talk about how long you've had credit. The longer, the better. It shows how experienced you are using credit. So don't rush and get rid of all your credit cards. Keep the oldest card for the longest period of time. They're positively contributing to your credit history. My oldest credit card is from 1994. Number four, let's talk about the types of credits that you have. Do you have installment debt or revolving debt? Revolving debt is like your credit cards or your store cards. Installment debt, that's like your mortgage, your student loan payment, or your car payment. It shows that you can handle various financial responsibilities. And number five is your recent inquiries. Have you been applying for new debt? Every time you apply, it hits your credit score. While a few inquiries may be expected if you're buying a house or a car, but too many in a short period of time is a red flag. It says to your creditors that you're potentially looking to use all of your credit to go further in debt. Let's now dissect the components of a credit score. Let's talk about the FICO score. There are many scores, but FICO is the most common. The range is from 300 to 850. The higher, the better. Here's a breakdown. Let me give you what poor means. Poor means 300 to 579. It means there's a lot of room for improvement. If your score falls between these numbers, you're considered a poor risk taker and you're a high risk for financial institutions. So you need to boost that score up as much as possible. Fair is 580 to 669. You're on the building blocks phase. With this, you're, you're using the right strategies and you can steadily and easily move up the ladder. A good credit score ranges from 670 to 739. It indicates you have financial stability. You're likely to qualify for some favorable interest rates. Very good. Hmm. When you're in a very good range, your numbers are from 740 to 799. You're in an excellent territory. Creditors believe that you're low risk and you're very likely to pay and to stick to the agreement that you have with them. The best rate available is excellent. Excellent is 800 to 850. And that's the top of the class. You're in the elite club. So enjoy the perks of the lowest interest rates and the most favorable terms. There you have it. That is the anatomy of your credit score. Remember, understanding these components and the score ranges empowers you to take control of your financial destiny. Keep watching and we'll do more deep dives into strategies into boosting up your credit score. This is your girl, Paula. I love you. If you like what you hear, click the like and subscribe button.
There's a link below for my website, robertstargetfinancials.com. We're gonna grow wealthy and healthy together.